Which geometric figures can you identify in this picture? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify points, rays, lines, and line segments by observing their characteristics. Let's review. We classify shapes based on specific characteristics. We can classify shapes by sides. A triangle has three sides. A square has four sides. And a pentagon has five sides. Geometric figures exist all around us. The tip of a pencil could be called a point. The light from a sun is called a ray. A horizon could be called a line. And each side of this desk could be called a line segment. A point is an exact location in space. Remember, the tip of your pencil can be thought of as a point. We can label points anywhere on a paper. We can also label points anywhere on a shape. A line is a straight path of points that goes on and on in two directions. Think of a horizon. We would call this line AB, with a little line above it. We could also call and label it BA. It's the same line. A line segment is part of a line with two endpoints. Remember your desk. We have four line segments on top of your desk. Look at this line segment here. It has two points. They're also called endpoints because that's where the line ends. X and Y. So we could call this line segment XY or call and label it YX. Again, it's the same line segment. doesn't matter what order. Take a look at this triangle. We have A, B, and C. This line segment could be called AC or CA. This line segment could be called AB or BA. And this line segment could be called CB or BC. A ray is part of a line that starts at one end point and continues on forever in one direction. Remember the sun's light. It starts at one end point and continues on and on in one direction. You can also think of a flashlight. Take a look at this ray. We have an endpoint X and a point Y. When labeling a ray, we have to start with the endpoint first and then any other point after that. We call this ray XY. Take a look at this figure. That ray we would call BC. This ray we would call BD. Let's summarize everything we just learned with this chart. Now for a point, it can be any letter. And we could call it point X, point B, point C. And it might look something like this. For a line, we could label it with any two letters we want, ST or TS. We call it line ST or line TS. And it might look like this. A line segment, we label AB or BA. Doesn't matter what letters you choose. We can call it line segment AB or line segment BA. And it might look like this. For a ray, it has to start with the end point first and then any point after that. We'd call this ray EF, and it looks like this. A common misunderstanding is thinking that lines or rays are actually line segments because of how they are labeled. Take a look at this line segment as two endpoints. Now this is a ray. It only has one endpoint. And this we would call a line. There are no endpoints. What geometric term is this? We'd call this a point. What geometric term is this? We'd call this a line. What geometric term is this? 
This is a line segment. What geometric term is this? This is a ray. And what geometric terms can you find in this picture? I see a point. I see a line. I see a ray. And I also see many line segments. In this lesson, you have learned how to identify points, rays, lines, and line segments by observing their characteristics.